So Weston Trussell here with C4, and I am sitting down with the legend herself, oh. Natasha. <laughs> We've heard a lot about you in terms of our interviews today, and it's been a pleasure hearing all the great stories that people have, and it's been a pleasure getting to know you personally, myself. You know, one of the things that really struck me when I first came out here was in the kind energy that I was picking up coming into the room. To tell people about, you know, yourself and what it is you've done here with C4, uh, introduce yourself and what C4 is all about. Thanks, Wes. Um, so, uh, you, you know, you put that together so beautifully. So I am Natasha Whedon, and I, this is a passion of mine, honestly. Just bringing people together, and I think it is so much more of um, connecting. What C4 is all about? Collaborating, celebrating, communicating with people, and really finding what's inside. Like, we can all go and pass business cards and, you know, do 30-second spiels and things like that, but what's really going on and how those relationships build? So that's what I was really hoping to do, and that's where, like, the hard connection comes in. Because honestly, we are all living this life together, and we are all have the same kind of hardships where, you know, um, same frustrations, same fears, and when we come together in a place and there is like, we can hug each other or, you know, give each other a warm welcome or really like concentrate on, you know, who this person is, it like evens out the playing fields, it locks people's arms together, it just gives people commonalities in places that they wouldn't normally have. So that's my passion. And also just, you know, there's so many networking groups for like the traditional networking, but I want it to be a home for, you know, the out of the box thinker, the entrepreneur, the small business owner, the people who kind of get left out. And that's, uh, that's really important to me. I'm one of them, so. Yeah, yeah, which I think is probably a good reason why, you know, for anyone who's kind of thinking about, you know, what's the right kind of culture in which you should be conducting business and the kinds right. of networks you should be building that it should be with those people who understand your situation and I think you know you founded a group based off of your personal journey and what you have discovered in terms of your networking your business development and yeah. what really counts most which is that underneath any good business relationship is a good relationship that's it and that's it. You, it doesn't happen otherwise it's so true and I think if you if for especially anyone who's kind of starting out in business of course, you know, there are a lot of people who are either, you know, learning how to do business development, learning how to network, or those who are very experienced in networking and doing business development, yeah. but maybe they haven't found the, you know, quite the right uh, group and community for themselves. Yeah. You know, tell us about, like, the differentiator here in terms of, you know, there's so many networking groups out there. You and I have done different groups ourselves, totally. we know. And for those out there who are kind of thinking about, like, you know, oh, you know, I've, I've done the BNIs, you know, I've done, you know, this or that. Um, tell us about, like, you know, the, the key thing that you would like people to know about C4 that right. really makes it stand apart. Okay, so, and, you know, don't get me wrong, I've done all the groups, or a lot of the groups, and, and different types of groups, and I love them all. They all have a great place, and they all have a service and, and a, a thing, but I think a thing that just is there to help people connect businesses, which is really important, the BNIs and all these these groups that are out there. Fabulous, it's, it's an amazing concept. Networking is so important. Um, I guess, to be just really simple about it, it's about humanizing it. It's about, it's, you know, my husband Rick will say, I'm a love bug, I'm like all about <laughs> just the love, and I, I really feel that's part of what this is all about. It's just being unabashedly loving and bringing people together to create those relationships that then leads to business, you know, and other things. I mean, I met my husband at a networking event, so, right. you know, I mean, it works on all levels. So I just want there to be a space and I'm honored and humbled to be in a situation where I can just bring amazing people together through each other and have a platform for for them to talk about, you know, what's happening in their business, what's not happening in their business, what's happening in their life, like friendships, like there's people here who comes for business, but there are people here in the community that just come to connect with other people. And how amazing is that? And if we just put everything on one line, then it doesn't become this kind of, you know, cutthroat business kind of thing that tends to be yeah. there in other, in other kind groups. Kind of uh, more of a, 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 an intensive sort of 
overly motivated competitiveness that can happen yeah, sometimes. That, you know. And then just also not being able to really connect with those people. Like, you know, you sure, you go and you collect a stack of business cards, but then what? Yeah. Then what? What happens? Yeah, you, you know? get follow-up fatigue. Here like you're talking call. about personal things that are going on, you're talking about people's hobbies, what they're passionate about and all, and then you're connecting. And we do this, you know, exercise where we're connecting while we're here. We're jumping off, you know, opening our phones up and opening up LinkedIn and, you know, like hit everybody who's nearby and you know so that and we encourage like please meet after you know the meeting like please do that yeah so, and i've had some great follow-ups and one-on-ones yeah. with people outside the group and it's great because even after only being part of the group for a couple months i've had several interactions and follow-ups yeah. with people we and it's one. great yeah i know it's great and you know meeting with rick and yourself and having a great yeah. evening together and just being able to hang out and learn more about not just our each other's businesses but just each other as people, people. Yeah. and I think that's great and so for people who you know come out and check this out um, in terms of the platform you know you know I know that you know you mix it up and you, you mm -hmm. do things a little bit differently each time but I know you also have you know you put some thought into it and so Absolutely. tell us a little bit about what people can expect in terms of a, an agenda or you know just some of the activities that go on here yeah so you know we start off with like a little mix and mingle because it's just always nice to break the ice and come in and do that we do introductions they're not limited to 30 seconds we you know depending on the size of the group we tell people you know be respectful of time and everything but we want to hear about you we want you know it, it to be a sharing experience and then we'll have either a presentation by someone in a particular field or an exercise that brings and connects people together. Mm. And that's really cool. We talk about collaborations and how we're collaborating with each other and, you know, obviously announcements and things like that. But it's just um, really about tying everyone together, like basically that. Yeah, and it definitely comes through pretty clearly when you you know come in the door and you start mingling with people. It's very clear that people are really connecting with each other, having you know conversations, laughing, having a yeah. good time, and you pick up on that pretty quickly. So it really does allow you that time to be able to actually get to know each other. Totally. And um, you know, like you said, you're not trying to over restrict people in terms of no. you know what they're doing. And I think that's important because we need we need that ability to be able to really connect and you know be able to get to know each other. And you can't really do that by just plugging yourself really quickly right. in 30 seconds. Um, so it leads me to another point, which I, I think a lot of people are kind of wondering, is uh, uh, C4, what does this all mean? We know it's explosive, but I know there's also, of course, we've got a meaning behind it. So tell yeah. us a little bit about the C4 meaning, yeah. what that breaks down to, and how you came up with that. So it was a group of us. Um, we were in another women's networking group before, and that was sort of dissolving, and we needed to find a name, and we started thinking about things that we would like to do and represent in a group and so a bunch of us were just sitting down and throwing things out and there happened to be a lot of C's in there. Connect, collaborate, contribute, celebrate and we picked those four as like the main four and of course C4 is also a bomb so we thought wow an explosive networking experience right <laughs> something totally different and unique. And so that's where it came from. Yeah, and I like yeah. it. It's very clever, and I think it's uh, yeah. it is very explosive with the energy that goes it on It is, here. <laughs> and it actually started off as a women's group, but, mm. you know, I'm all about inclusivity, and we need the guys around. We need your energy. I'm, you know, not about Yeah, just... and it's also about, you know, the fact that, you know, you, you're building more and more of a community, and that's yes, a good thing. And, absolutely. You know, and that's, it's really and, about community. Yeah. Like, that is so powerful to me, and just... You know, wherever and however and for whatever you're here for, like, we should be all able to share in that. And that's great. And yeah. so anyone who's watching right now, uh, you know, what's a great way for people to get this journey started in terms of, you know, they're interested in checking out C4, you know, you've been able to learn about what we do here mm -hmm. and what to expect. So what's a great way for people to connect with you and C4 to, you know, either find out more or yeah. figure out when and where to go? Yeah, so c4networking.com is our website. And we have a Facebook page, C4 and Explosive Networking Experience. You can always reach out to me, Natasha Whedon, on Facebook or LinkedIn. You know, for anyone who's interested in learning more, feel free to connect and be yes. sure to, uh, you know, look us up online and connect with us on social media. And just and come join us, check us out, you know? Yeah, you can't go wrong having a good time. So right. we look forward to seeing you soon.